All right, hello everybody. I want to do another word problem today. Today is one-dimensional motion and free fall. Uh, so let's read the problem. A man stands at the edge of a cliff that's 20 meters above the ground. With what initial velocity must a ball be thrown so that it hits the ground in three seconds? All right. So first we need to understand the problem and what it's asking for. So what's it asking for? It's asking for an initial velocity. Now to find that initial velocity, I have to know what else it tells me. So it tells me I have an initial height of 20 meters and that the time it takes for it to the ground is three seconds. So this is a kinematics problem, so I want to use my kinematic equations. Uh, so I can write down my three kinematic equations and see which one I want to use. So the first one says, well, delta V or V final minus V initial equals A T. Well, I don't know V final or V initial, so no good. The next one says V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2A delta Y. Well, I don't know V final or V initial e again, so I'm not going to use that one. And last I could say, well, Y final minus Y initial is equal to V initial T plus one half a t squared. Now, I know y final, and I know y initial. I know time, do I know the acceleration? Well, it's a free fall problem, so I do, right? The acceleration is just the acceleration due to gravity. It's sort of a hidden piece of information in the problem. So what I can do is I can use this kinematic equation to solve my problem. So what I want to do is isolate for V initial. So to do that, I would say, all right, well, I've got Y final minus Y initial. And then I'd want to subtract 1 half AT squared from both sides. And I'd say minus one half at squared is equal to the initial velocity times time. And now I just divide everything by t. And that gives me my equation that says the initial velocity is equal to y final minus y initial minus one half at squared all divided by t. Now I can plug my numbers in. So this is zero, because I hit the ground, minus 20 meters, because that's initially how high I am, minus one half, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, because G is going down, times three seconds squared, all divided by three seconds. All right, and that gives me an answer of, when I do that, 8.03 meters per second. And I can double check my units here, and I can say, well, this is meters over seconds, so that's good. And this is meters per second squared times seconds squared. So that gives me meters divided by seconds and meters per second. So as a little check, I always like to check my units and I have the right units and I have the right answer. All right, guys, thanks so much.